Goray is a beautiful small island located two kilometers from Dakar. We leave Dakar on the regular ferry to the island, which is packed with a large group of Sengalese high school students. The girls have their hair weaves and tight jeans, and the guys have baggy jeans, American football shirts, and rap group shirts. In short, they were dressed like American teens. It was a sunny day, and the pastel-colored buildings, lush foliage, clear water, and sandy beaches made Goray seem idyllic. However, despite this Eden-like image, Goray has a bitter legacy. It was here that slaves were brought for shipment to America and the Caribbean. It is because of this that the island has become a shrine and a must-stop on any tour involving the history of the slave trade. One is greeted almost immediately by a large statue commemorating the freeing of the slaves. The statue was a gift to Senegal from Guadeloupe. The central focus is on the building known as the House of Slaves, one of the oldest houses on the island. Now a tourist destination, it is used to dramatize the horrors of the slave trade throughout the Atlantic world. The House of Slaves opens directly into the sea. It was where, it is claimed, hundreds of thousands of Africans were shipped to the west and it provided the last sight of Africa for those who were sold here. Within the house one can see the cells where men, women, and children were kept separately. Leg irons are prominently displayed. The door facing the ocean is called the door of no return because once a slave passed through that door there was no return to Africa. There's a copy of the 23rd Psalm in Gullah affixed to the wall. Despite the hallowed nature of this site, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Recent research has shown that relatively few slaves actually pass through Goray, perhaps not more than a few hundred a year. Whether that number was a thousand or one hundred thousand, the site still stands as testament to man's inhumanity to man. Today, Goray is a beautiful island which services the tourist trade. Here there are souvenir shops selling masks and other African crafts, and restaurants with musicians playing the kora. As with many other tourist locations, the serenity is often broken by the hordes of vendors calling, my sister, come to my shop, my brother, good price for this jewelry. Underneath the pleasant veneer, however, are bitter memories that cannot be forgotten and still move the visitor emotionally.